Hi everybody and welcome to the Crafty Maven. Here's the inspiration piece for this week and I'm going to get started here using some papers from my hip kit. This is my February hip kit and I'm using some of the goldish tones in the hip kit. Um, the paper that I just backed that photo on is not from my hip kit, that is from a paper pad that I had in my st um, stash. So I am going to use a smaller photo and a larger photo of these blooms that are blooming down the street from my house there. And they're really pretty and they're pretty tall. They were actually taller than me. So I decided to go ahead and get this uh, photo. Although these are weeds and everything, they really look pretty when they do bloom. I mean, you could tell spring is pretty much here right here in Sacramento especially with all the rain or maybe it might be a little premature spring I'm not sure but a lot of things are blooming around here including the trees and everything and my sinuses are telling on me because I've had a few headaches um, and some sinus issues going on so this is what happens a lot of times every year for me so I, I realize that it, I can always tell when spring is here now I'm going to be using a Sorry about that, the voiceover cut off, but I'm going to be using um, a half um, doily here, a gold doily from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. Um, I have a bunch of those. I'm just using them up as I go. And I'm going to be using um, that for part of the title. And then I'm going to be using some more thickers here. Now, some of these ephemeras like that tag in this frame are from the ephemera pack of uh, Moonstruck by Pink Page. Let's just see. No. <laughs> I forget it, but I'll put it down the bottom there. And I'm going to be using this um, little chipboard photo frame, and that came from a uh, Project Life pack of photo frames. And that also came in my hip kit as well. And I like those because I get to use those different those frames on different parts of my layout here. And I decided to go ahead and use it there because that's kind of like a close-up of the flowers as well. So um, I know those are weeds and everything. I keep calling them flowers. Well, they are blooming like flowery, flower like petals and things like that, but they are definitely weeds and they cover this whole entire field, which is down the street from my house. So um, it was really pretty when I was taking that walk on Sunday morning and I decided to go ahead and take that photo there. It was pretty cool. So right now I am put, getting those, getting this uh, ready to put down the that's not going to be the title. That's just something I wanted to use to cover up the wording that was on the frame there because I did not want that to show. It didn't quite fit the layout. And now I'm going to be using some of my Scotch Quick Dry to glue down part of the title and the wood veneer, and that is Hello. And then I'm going to be using some thickers for the rest of the title. And these also came in my hip kit as well. And they're a nice, they're a thinner gold foil type of sticker, thicker. And um, at first I didn't know that until I opened a pack and I was like, oh yeah, I can use these. These are thin enough because I don't like the real fat titles when I'm trying to put things and make it condensed in one spot. So I like to go ahead and just, you know, kind of put it down there. But there it is right there. So it's going to fit perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put the title down and make sure that it's, it's what I like about the foam thickers is they thick really they stick really, really good. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. So the title is going to be Hello Spring because it is pretty much here in Sacramento with all the rain we've had. It's been raining and raining and raining and we have a lot of water. We are no longer in a drought, that's for sure. Um, there are some parts of the um, Northern California, not here in Sacramento, but Northern California that did flood. Um, there was a lot of people who were flooded down in Modesto, which is about almost a couple hours from here, about an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours from us here south. Um, we did really well. We, we got a lot of water. Our river, the Sacramento River is filled. Our, you know, lakes are filled. It, it's, it's, we got enough water, that's for sure. So now I'm going to be using some of these rub-ons, and that is also from the Hazelwood collection. As a matter of fact, the background paper and the paper with the B on it and the, and the hexagons and the butterflies are all from the Hazelwood collection, So and that came in my hip kit. I did not get a chance to, um, I say, get the collection, the Hazelwood collection. I've been super, super busy with a lot of stuff, so I haven't had an opportunity to really look at anything. So I've been just using what's in my kits here lately. 
And so I'm going to be using some of these butterflies, which I thought was cool. I love how these rub-ons went on. They went on really well. And, and I used my little rub-on tool there that you see there. I've had that rub-on tool for quite a while now, and it works awesome. It really, really does work awesome. So I'm glad I did have the in the um, um in my tools there. So alrighty, so I think I'm gonna put down one more butterfly here in this vacant spot, and I am be and I will be done with the layout once I put some of the Heidi Swap Gold splatters down, and do a little bit of journaling. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And be sure to tune in for more of the Crafty Maven and some of the other Mavens here who have a lot of talent. And I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.